In order to illustrate an apparent polar wander path, let's say we've got uh, the Earth here, and its poles are set up just the way they are today. So the magnetic field lines are going like that. And let's say we've got a continent sitting here. And it looks like this. Um, we'll color it in. And so we'll say there's a volcano on this continent. And it's a composite volcano. So a composite volcano spews out lava and it gradually, it gradually builds up the mountainside with these lava flows like this. So here's the lava flows coming down this side. And let's say we're a geologist. And we're going to go to this volcano and we're going to take some samples of these lava flows. So we'll zoom in on these samples here. And the uppermost sample, the most recent lava flow, we'll call that this green one here. And then let's say underneath that green one there's a more orange, yellow lava flow. And then under that uh, there's this oldest one here. Now we have a magnetometer and we can try to figure out uh, which way all these lava flows thought north was when they were formed and they cooled. So let's say the red one points sort of in this direction and the yellowish one is maybe pointing like this and the green one is recognizing the field of today so it's just pointing north like that. Now there's, there's two possible explanations for how this could have occurred uh, and so we'll draw those right here. All right. Explanation one is that the poles moved around and the continent stayed in the same place. So in that case, we've got our continent sitting here. And when the most recent lava formed, this green stuff, uh, the pole was right up here, where it is today. Um, but back when this thing was emitting the yellow lava, uh, the pole was in a slightly different place. The pole might have been more like over here. And the oldest lava flow is recording a pole that's more like in that direction. So in this case, we have what we could call an apparent polar wander path. And over time, from back then to the present, the pole kind of moved in that direction. Now, the other possibility is that the continent moved, but the pole stayed in the same place. So in that case, um, the green continent of today would be here. All right, and so when this lava froze, it was pointing north toward the North Pole. Now back when this yellow lava formed, um, if the pole was in the same place, then the continent would have to maybe be over here somewhere like this, right? Because its lava froze pointing north. But then over time, when this continent moved to its present position, this lava is still frozen in place, is now pointing in a different direction over here that isn't where north is anymore, right? If we go back even farther in time toward the red lava, then the continent must have been sitting at a position sort of like this. So when its lava formed, it was pointing north, right? Then as the continent went through this motion, this lava was still frozen in place, so the direction is pointing isn't in the same place that, that north is now. And so we can construct a path, an apparent wander path, if you will, of the continents. And we can see that the continent um, must have gone sort of like this. See how this is now in the opposite direction to the one we constructed before.